Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the RB Leipzig career mode. God, it's going to take me a little bit of a little bit of a while to get used to saying that. I'm so used to saying "Welcome back to the Arsenal career mode," but no, we are now in the Bundesliga with RB Leipzig. We've made one signing already in the first episode, which was Tovan. I want to call him Tovan. Very nice player. Very excited to see how he gets on in this team. I don't know if I'm going to stick with this 4-4-2. Or if I'm going to go to my typical 4-2-3-1 or a 4-3-3 or maybe even three at the back. We have so many options with this squad. I've changed a few of their positions around like I said I would. Uh, for example, a good, a good example is Lookman. He is typically a right midfielder but just because my OCD is mad I had to flip it around because I'm going to use him as a left midfielder. So yeah, a couple of changes there. I've added a few positions in like Wolf can play on the right. There isn't really a reason to do it. It's just because I'm a little bit uh, OCD, just a little bit. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what else I want to do. I've got rid of the faceless players because, I mean, I was going to get pennies for them um, and they just drive me mad. So I'm still going to loan out a few players. I think Hartman, this guy, I don't want to pronounce his name. We've then got Candido. We've got Winter. Those guys can probably go out on loan. And don't get me wrong, by the way, in the last episode, you saw I took out players like Orban just because it is, it's FIFA, right? You don't want to be using Orban. I mean, come on, 49 pace. Are you mad? But I'm still going to use them. Don't get me wrong. They're still here. They're still going to be used. It's just, uh, it's likely that I won't use them as much as, for example, Upamecano, Canate, and Mukiele. I mean, it doesn't really get much better than that in career mode, does it? So we've got three very good players. Now, before we move on, let me uh, go full screen because this is a serious chat, don't you know? I saw the comments, people saying that maybe I shouldn't be doing the twist, which was to sell a big player every season. I totally get it. Some people think that kind of ruins career mode. Maybe I didn't think it through enough. I just wanted to have a twist because RB Leipzig already have a very good side and I don't want to make it too easy for myself. So I get you. What I'm going to do is Werner will sell. He will go. Werner is going to be leaving Basically because I've already used him and I think it's pretty obvious even though he signed a deal which is just a ploy for RB Leipzig to get more money for him by the way. I think it's very clear that Werner will end up going to a bigger team. I think Chelsea are, are very heavily linked with him at the moment in a January move. I think it would still be exciting. I want to bring someone else in but when it comes to other players being sold maybe I won't do it as often as once a season. Maybe two. Two times in this whole series. I don't know. We um... We will decide as we go. I think that's that's the best thing to do. But I, I totally get your concerns. It would have maybe ruined the, the core of this squad every single time that I would sell a player. So, um, yeah, Tovan, actually, what a signing that's been. He's 83 rated. That makes him the second best player. No, third best player in the team. I always forget the keeper's 85 rated. I mean, he's an absolute boss. Really, really good. So um, I was thinking to myself while I was editing positions and stuff, who else? Do I need to sign? What other position do I need to sign? And I realized I don't have a right back that can back up Klosterman. I know they use Mukiele as a right back a lot, but in my career mode, he's going to be a backup center back. And yes, I can use him on the right, but maybe I should be looking at right backs. It's it's possible I will need one. Uh, and Kunku could play there. Lamer can play there. Um, who else? Adams can play at right back as well. I could probably get away with putting Ampadu there, but come on. This is career mode. You want to reinforce your team. So I think in this episode, we're going to get our first game underway and we're going to look for a backup right back. And talking of right backs, we've jumped straight into training here and Klosterman already 80 rated, which is great to see. I think I might take Konate and Klosterman out. I want, I, I want pretty much every player that I want to use in this career mode for a long time to be at least 80 rated. It makes sense. So I think Haidara and maybe Upamecano should be next in line to get everyone 80 rated plus in this first team. But uh, training, we'll just, we'll just go with it. We'll go with the flow. And I've just seen this as well. AS Monaco have just signed Joe Gomez. You should be able to see that. I've moved my cam to the bottom right. It was kind of in the way in the top right. Joe Gomez to Monaco. That is an interesting signing for sure. So let's have a look at our calendar. Who do we have first in the Bundesliga? Wow. Okay, we've got a lot of time. We have Union Berlin, I believe that's their name. We've then got Frankfurt and then Mönchengladbach as the opening three games. So until 
here, I guess I might as well be looking for right backs. Okay, so I've gone ahead and found five different right backs that I think could really do quite well. We've got uh, two Much and Gladback players. You know that I was almost going to do a Much and Gladback career mode, so why not include two players from them? We've got Bayer, Bayer, and then we have Lena. Another Lena. I know he's got a slightly different spelling, but uh, he's actually having a very good season for Much and Gladback, who, again, let me just remind you, they are top of the Bundesliga, top. In real life. Unbelievable. Then we've got Rueg. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I will have to learn some of these names for sure. Um, he plays for Bayern. I've actually not seen him before. And we've also got Dest. Now, I have noticed, especially of recent, that a lot of the young American talents end up in the Bundesliga, it seems. So maybe he's uh, an interesting option for us. I think he's a very exciting prospect. I love the fact he's got four-star skill moves as well. Very cool. And then we have an Italian right back who plays for Bordeaux, Bellanova. Now, I'm a bit of a sucker for real faces in the game. So all of these guys have generic faces except from Sergino Dest. So why not? We are... Oh, no, <laughs> he's just recently joined. We are um, We're scouting all of these guys. Hang on, is any of these guys available? Okay, we've got a release clause for him. Okay, so literally the only players we can go for are these two. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to wait. I want this guy. I want Sergino Dest. He can play on the left side as well. He looks like he could be very good. So we'll wait until January. Maybe we're going to have a massive reshuffle there. But for now, I guess we use Mukiele as our backup right back. And we can always throw Adams in there. I don't know. But he makes sense. USA player. We've already got one. Is it or two? We've got Adams and I think it might be just one actually at the club already. So we're going to give him a new best buddy. Ooh, okay. Manchester United have paid Klosterman's release clause. I don't think so. I do not think so. We're not going to be letting that happen, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and offer him a new contract right away so we can keep him. He's our only right back. We cannot afford to lose him. So at the moment, he's worth 17.5, a release clause of around 30. I mean, it's not really that bad. It wouldn't break my heart. Um, because we're still getting way more than his value. But of course, he's one of our best young players. There's no way we're going to let him go. So he's on 43k. Let's go ahead and delegate a renewal here. Um, okay, what was it? 43? Just need to double check before I ruin this. Let's go ahead and offer him uh, 55. Giving him a little bit more there. And let's not go higher than 70. Hey, there you go. He wants a release clause put in again. That'll be interesting. Will Manchester United come up with that? Do you know what? I'm, I'm not actually going to risk it. We're, gonna, we're just going to negotiate this. We've got the time to do it. Let's go ahead and make sure that we get a release clause removed from his contract. They're just not a good idea. So he's on 43. Uh, we're going to give him crucial. Is it going to save the progress that we made? I already offered him some money that he agreed on, right? Is that going to work? Let's go five years, of course. That'll take him to 28 years old. And... Disregard release clause. Oh my god, this game's broken. This game is broken, EA. What is this? He's now comfortable taking less. It doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Oh my god. Okay. Um, let's do 350. I'm, I'm actually going to give him 45 just because I feel bad. 45. Let's remove the bonus. Is he going to accept that? This is a joke if he accepts it. Really? Really? Makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense, this game. Do we have any other release clauses in the team? Okay, so we've got 55 million for good old Peter in goal. We've got 22 million on Halstenberg. That's a little bit low, actually. I might have to sort that one out. Um, he's got three years left remaining, so that's that's fine. Um, let's offer him 35 and reduce that because that's a lot of money to 50. And there you go. Bang, gone. I know we've, uh, we've obviously spent a little bit more money, but that's worth it because the release clause is gone. They are horrible. I know they're good to have in the game, but they're horrible. You do not want your players to have release clauses because sometimes you might not be able to save it, especially if you leave it too late. 
See, this is another player that I could not leave. I could not leave this. It has to be sorted now. He's on 32k with four years left on his contract. Um, I think 40 is probably a good number to start off with here. And we won't go above 60. And there you go. Bang. He gained 8,000 per week, but we've saved it. No more release clause. Winter can have one. Um, Lamer, yeah, we should probably get rid of that. Let's offer him 45. Again, it's just such a little bit... It's such a little bit more more money per week, but it's it's so worth it. My God, you do not you do not want a release clause. I don't want it. All right, let's see how broken it is again. Let's test it again. So, I've offered him forty five k, which he has accepted for four years. I'm now going to offer him a five year contract. Is he going to take less than let's say forty? If he does, this it's just broken. It's completely broken. And I'll be so, so surprised if it isn't the case. Because this is FIFA. You know, they don't care. So he wants rotation. That's fine. He won't be upset if we don't play him every game, which he won't. He wants that four years. Let's try five. Okay. He's on 40 and a half already. What's he going to take? Should I try just 40? <laughs> um... I've got, a, I've got a bad feeling about that, actually. I don't really want to upset the guy, so I'm just going to offer him 45. Maybe this isn't the time to experiment, um, but he's accepted it. So we'll, we'll do that. We basically completely got rid of the release clause and gave him an extra year for the same price. Basically, it's, it's absolutely pointless. Uh, we've also got a release clause on Sabitza. To be fair, for a player that I'm not... Not going to use that much, if I'm being honest. He's a great player, don't get me wrong, but in a 4-4-2, I've added the ability for him to play on the right. He's not even a winger, okay? So I don't actually see Sabitza being a main player for me. So I'm actually going to leave that release clause in there because imagine if that gets paid. That's a lot of money, almost 50 million, okay? That's almost more than double his value. And I think, ooh, okay, Paulson's got one in there. Um, worth noting that Werner, I know I said I'm going to sell him, and I am going to. He's actually going to be a free agent at the end of this year. So people can, or people, teams can approach him. Agents can approach him in January and potentially get him signed on to a new club for free. That that ain't happening, not on my watch. So I guess we should give both Paulson and Werner new contracts. So he's on 65k. I'm actually going to give him a little bit more than usual because he's such a vital part of this team. And then let's let's not offer more than 90. Let's try that. Oof, look at that. 75k. So 10,000 more per week and you've got no chance of losing him through a release clause. So that's good. Now this is going to be interesting. Werner should be getting a lot more money. Uh, he can get a lot more money. If he went to Chelsea, you know he'll be on 200k per week, something like that. I'm going to offer him 85 as a minimum and not go above 100. Boom. There you go. Crucial. Five years, 85K. So less than 10,000 more. That's ridiculous. And it worked. Any other release clauses in here? No. Okay. So contracts sorted. We've got a right back sorted for a January move. I guess we just get into our first game now. We do the training as well. Um, okay, so we've got some reports back. Haustenberg. I'm sorry, Bayern. I'm not interested. Now, I've had quite a few other offers as I was editing the player positions and I simulated a few days. A few offers came in which have all been rejected. Werner, I mean, no way I'd sell him now. Orban, Dem, Klosterman, but everything is rejected. We're not, we're not selling anyone. The only player that we have sold, of course was Ilshanka, Il Ilsanka, I think his name was. He has gone. And I think we got 4.2 mil for him, which... Oh, I didn't change the training. 4.2 million for a player that just isn't part of my my plans, I think is very good money. For a player that's also over 30 years old, it made sense to let him go. Right, now I can adjust the training before I forget. So Hydara stays, Kanate comes out, and Klosterman comes out. Let's go ahead and throw in Upper Meccano, who's just gone up to 78. That's good to see. Uh, I want to improve his agility and ball control and his dribbling. I know it, it, it kind of doesn't make sense, does it, to improve a defender's ball control and stuff. But for what I do with the game, I like to dribble around with the defenders and pass it around. It does make sense for me. And it's just a good idea, I think, especially agility. When you're defending against these tricky wingers, you need agility for sure. 
Let's do his defending as well. And then we've got a spot left, which is going to be for... Hmm, we've got quite a few choices here. Uh, maybe we go Mukiele or Ampadu. Maybe Ampadu's a good shout. He's, he's one for the future. Let's improve his defending as well. He's, he's high 60s in some of those, so not great. So that's going to be our new training drills for now. And no one got more than a C. Wow. Brilliant. Well, I guess it's time to do our first press conference at RB Leipzig. And let's see what they ask. Okay, so pre-season, we did very well. We actually won the tournament. Um, how's it going to impact our first competitive game? We're working very hard every day. We have a lot of quality in this squad. The lads should be focused on winning. I'm going to say we have a lot of quality because we really do. This team has a lot of young quality players. So definitely a team for the future. Can we handle the pressure to qualify for the Champions League? Absolutely. And it's essential. I think that's what we're going to say. Let's boost the players' morale a little bit. What's your comment on the speculation that Werner refused to sign another deal? Well, what? He didn't refuse. I'm going to say he is still our player because he is. Let me just go ahead and check this because that doesn't seem right. He did. He's absolutely signed it. So it's just another broken question. Where is he? Werner. Four years, 11 months. He signed a new deal. Where, where are you getting your info from, media? Anyway, let's get into our first game of the season. Well, not first game. First competitive game. Because, yes, the pre-season tournament went, went very well. But I didn't actually use the players. It's going to be my first time using them in this career mode. And I cannot wait to see how Torvin gets on, for example. Or Tovan on the right side. And uh, to be fair, a few players have already gone up by one. So it's going to be interesting to see how we get on. Whoa, what is that kit? That is absolutely incredible. I need to get that. Where can I buy this kit? So as you know, we are playing Union Berlin in the first game of the season. To be fair, that's quite a nice start, isn't it? That's not too bad at all. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. But you never know. It's a new team, a new formation that I'm not used to playing in this game. Wait, they've got Mbolo. Have they got Mbolo in on loan or something? That's incredible. They could genuinely be, be, be a lot better than I thought. But we'll see. First game, hopefully try and get three points. Good tackle, Forsberg. See, the thing with the 4-4-2 is I love how open it can be from midfield to attack. I love having two strikers. But defensively, it does leave gaps. And having Haidara and Campbell as my midfielders could prove to be a little bit difficult defensively because they're not out-and-out -out defending midfielders, you know. Oh, hello, Klosterman. Finish it. Oh. Oh, my God. We've hit the post within 10 minutes. Should have been a goal for Klosterman. Involved in lots of transfer speculation, but he has signed. He is ours. Oh, go on, Campbell. Let's finesse it. Go on. Oh, okay. That was not bad. Let's get Tovan in. Onto this right side. What we want to do with him is cut in on his left as much as possible. Similar to what we did with Pepe in the Arsenal career mode. And get some shots away. Oh, my God. So close to a debut goal. We're 20 minutes in and we could have had two goals. Three goals. And it's open now for Paulson. Into the box for Werner. He's in. And it is going to be the first goal. What a goal that was as well. The passing is exquisite. This is why I picked RB Leipzig. I just have so much fun with this squad. Leverkusen was so close. It was so close. Gladbach. I played a few games and I just wasn't feeling it. That is the truth. RB Leipzig was just my favourite by far out of the three. And this is the reason. They just play so well in this game. I love the players they've got. Werner, I know I've said it many times, he is going to leave. So that is going to give us an opportunity to change up the attack a little bit. But while we've got him, it's going to be ridiculous how much fun I have with this squad. Look at all the space here. Just to play it around. Here's Werner. Over to Paulson now. Back into Werner. First time shot. Straight at the defender. Is that the actual Imbolo from Much and Gladbach. I don't think it is. He seems to be playing on the left, actually. I'm not too sure. I don't think it's the Mbolo we're thinking of. Oh, go on. Win the header. Yeah, not the defender. I wanted to win the header and knock it back into the box. But I think we're coming towards the end of the first half here. And to be fair, I don't think they've had a single shot on target. They might get one now, though. Klosterman needs to get back. 
Look at all this confetti on the pitch. It's like a, a tournament final or something or a pre-season friendly. Let's try and get a tackle in here if I can. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We got away with it. Yes, we have got away with it. And that is going to be half time. We really should be winning by more than one goal. Bit of play here from Tovan and Forsberg. Over the top for Paulson. Into the box. Terrible cross. That was absolutely terrible. I don't know why I even tried it. Because Tovan, you really want him on his left foot. You really do. Right, we're going to take the throw and give it to Werner here. Good control. Try and get a ball into the box. Oh, it wasn't bad. The keeper's read it well, though. I've made a double change. Lookman is coming on on the left side for Forsberg. And also I've brought in Lamer. Lamer, I will learn his name, I promise, in midfield. Tovan could be in here. Is he offside? No, he's on. Try and get him on that left foot. Go on, finesse it. Go on. Oh, it's in. Campbell from that angle should have no chance. But somehow he's got it in. The original shot coming in from Tovan was very decent. A lot of power on it. And that surely is going to be three points in the bag straight away at the start of this season. Very good strike. Yeah, he should be scoring from there. He's had to turn his body away 180 degrees and just power it in. Very well done, in fairness. Royce has gone to Real Madrid. Wow. That's going to help us because Dortmund are one of our main rivals this season for sure. And they've just sold their captain and one of their best players. Interesting. Cross coming in now. Who was that? Was that Klosterman? Klosterman getting forward a lot in this game. I love it. Proper attacking wing back. Here's Campbell. Can he get his second of the game? Definitely not with a shot like that. Ten minutes left on the clock now. Well, I'm super happy with Tovan. He's been really good. And I'm really happy with the team in general. It's been a very good first game. We could still get a third. But uh, even if we don't, 2-0 is a very good victory. Let's play this around and see if we can get maybe a gap in the middle here. There's Paulson. Oh, it didn't quite work out there. Subotic, man. I forgot about him. Oh, hang on. Get it through. That was close. Very close. And I think that is going to be it for this game, guys. What a great first match. That is exactly what I needed. Just a simple, straight-up 2-0 win. And, of course, a clean sheet is always good. Wow. Okay, we just had a new offer come in. Let me just explain how crazy this is because Inter, just two or three weeks ago in-game, offered 42.4 million. We have since then negotiated a new contract with Werner and straight away we've had an offer come in from Piemonte Calcio or Juventus. I'm not using the real realism mod right now. They've offered 75 million. I mean, unbelievable. We are going to get so much money for Werner now that we've signed him up on a new deal. Of course, we are not going to be accepting it. We're going to reject it. For now, I'm going to wait until January, minimum, until we, we talk about selling him. We're going to block that. We do not want to be loaning out our backup striker, so that's fine. Now, I think Mukiele wanted to play, so he's a little bit upset. But uh, we're going to say squad rotation is important. He will play. There's no doubt about it. In fact, I'm thinking for this next match against Frankfurt, is it a home game? It should be. It is a home game. I'm now going to experiment with three at the back. I want to try a few different formations at the very start of this season so I can get used to playing a few different ones and then decide which one I like the most and then just go for it. So I enjoyed 4-4-2. Now I'm going to try maybe a 3-4-3. Play with one striker. I don't know if that... Maybe I go with a 3-1-4-2, something like that. Is this two attacking I think it might be. Maybe it's best to bring back these wings a little bit, bring them back into maybe a bit more of a defensive position and then throw in a left back and a right back. Klosterman and Sirachi maybe could be good options. I think I might I might try it. I'm going to try it as it is for now. Adams comes in as the holding midfielder. We've got Haidara and Campbell next to him. But this is what I'm most excited about. Upamecano, Kanate and Mukiele. 20 years old, 20 years old, 21 years old. All have incredible potential. So um, let's see how we get on. Look at this stadium. It is beautiful. I love the Red Bull Stadium. What's it actually called? The Red Bull Arena. That's it. Looks so, so cool. Love it. It's our first home game of the Bundesliga season. Three at the back should be very interesting. I think we've definitely got the team that can do it. It's whether or not I enjoy using it, whether or not it's a little bit too light at the back and we get countered a lot. Great. Lost the ball already. Got it back already. Then lost it again already. Things are going well. We've got it back again. 
Here is Forsberg. Going to play that over to the right side, then straight away put it inside. Adams has lost it, though. See, this is where it could be a little bit dangerous. On the attack, a team like Frankfurt could absolutely destroy me with three at the back. But to be fair, they've gone a bit slowly here. We've won it back. Right, now we go. Werner into Adams, who's actually pushing forward quite a lot. We're going to pick out Forsberg on the left side. It's not a good ball. It was awful. That was such a bad pass. I completely ruined the attack. Oh, and now they're through. Oh, Upamecano, though. What a monstrous defender. So, so good. He could set us up here. Here's Forsberg. Put it through for Paulson. Go on, son. Oh, he's in. This is what Paulson's so good at. Running, using his strength. That should have been a foul. If I stayed put, if I didn't shoot, he would have taken me out for sure. Oh, what a ball, Werner. Straight into Tovan here. He's being caught up, though. Oh, that should be a penalty. I'm going to keep playing, though, because Werner's in. What is going on? Game? Hello? Oh, my God. How have I not made it 1-0 there? I, I don't know. We're going to keep the attack alive, though. Go on, Werner again. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that was... Rather tasty, I've got to say. That is what Werner can do. His finesse shots. Mwah, perfect. Last moments of the first half here. And Frankfurt are going to try and get down. I don't think they're going to... Are they going to have time? They are. They're going to get a pass through here. Trying to get back here with Kanate. He's done well. Very nice. I feel sorry for any team that we come up against in a couple of years' time. Because Kanate, Upamecano and... Mukiele, they could all be 85 rated plus. Can you imagine how disgustingly strong my defence could be then? Make a run. Oh, look at Tovan. Loads of space on the right. Werner's making a run into the box. We're going to go the right footed cross. Werner's there and it is going to be 2-0. And it's Werner again. How can I sell this guy? What am I doing? <laughs> I only had one season with him at Arsenal. I'm acting as if I've used him forever. No, I'm going to stick with it though. I, I said I would do it. I said I would... He's just so good, though, guys. It's mad how good Werner is. He's got everything. He has absolutely everything. Bringing in someone like Haaland or Jovic, I saw some people mentioning him. We just lose out on Werner's just pace and, and finishing. He's superb, man. He's without doubt one of my favourite strikers in the game. All I want now is a clean sheet. Another 2-0 win would be amazing. Obviously... 3-0 would be better. Imagine if I could get Werner a hat-trick. Oh, wow, look at that. Another Bundesliga side getting weaker by selling one of their key players. Muller, he's not really a key player these days, is he? Although he's, do he's been doing a little bit better recently. He scored his first goal in a while recently, didn't he? Was it against Gladbach, I think, or the game before that? But um, they've sold him to Man City. Interesting. We'll, we'll try and get a third if we can with Werner. We actually might be able to get him in here. But really, a clean sheet is all I need now. And to get those three points, that'd be great. Here's Paulson. Back over to Werner. You know what I'm going to try and do here? Oh, he didn't even finesse it. I tried to finesse it. And he's he's just smacked it. Yes, come on then. Forsberg's in. Werner, this is for you, son. Go on. He's in. Finish it. Oh, he's done it. He's only gone and freaking done it. Yes, get in there. Werner gets a hat-trick in just the second game of the season. His value just went up even more. Technically not, because stats don't come into consideration at all, which is a shame. Because if he was on fire, you know his market value should go up. Absolutely. But honestly, Frankfurt, they, I thought, were going to be much, much better. I've been able to tear their defence apart. Defensively, I've definitely not been as strong as when I was using 4-4-2. But if I can score lots of goals, it, it doesn't actually matter too much, does it? We could we could even get another one here. Genuinely, I'm, I'm doing that well with this team so far. Go on, whip that into the box. Oh, that wasn't what I really wanted. But we're going to recycle it straight away. Paulson, trying to get in on the action as well. Two minutes of added time. This is it. This is game over. No chance. Frankfurt need four goals in a minute. Yeah, do you think that's possible? Absolutely not. Blow the whistle, referee. There you go. Werner is going to take home that match ball. And I'm pretty sure there's plenty more on the way. I can't believe I'm going to sell him. Do I actually do this? Jesus Christ, Matt. This, it, might, it might go down as the worst decision in history. But I, I kind of want to do it. Because I think he's going to leave in real life. It, it gives me a challenge, man. Because he won us this game. He won, it. He won us the game single-handedly. 
Amazing, man. And of course, he gets himself a 10 out of 10 rating. But that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we finish off the transfer window and we have our game against Borussia Mönchengladbach. So I'm interested to see how we can get up, go against them. They are going to be good this season. Thing is, in real life, in the Bundesliga, they're doing very well right now. But I, I don't think they can match that in-game. I mentioned it when I talked about doing them as a, as a team in, in, in this series and I said how I don't think I'd be able to match it because their, their stats, their overalls just aren't that high, you know. So we'll see how they get on this season, but we'll be playing them first thing in the next episode and then we'll finish off the transfer window. Wait, look at this. Madrid have been busy. Oops, just got rid of it there. What is that? Okay then, very interesting. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do slap a like on it and I will see you for episode three very soon.